Okay, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna be giving a, I'm at the office and I'm giving service to actually, to our reels. We usually use Shimano, nothing but Shimano. We love Shimano. This is a Shimano Talica 16, uh, second generation. We use these a lot for uh, small uh, species and stripe marlin as well. It's pretty easy to cast. They're really lightweight. They're two speed and they work pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, it needs a new handle. This one, this thing came off and and the 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 bearing seems seems to be really stuck already so we have here two of the new bearings they're from shimano as well this is actually what i usually all i need this is some grease for reels uh here's a couple of different uh uh screwdrivers that i use i like to use this one to take off a couple of things down here this one comes in pretty handy for small pieces just to take them off quick and so that I, they won't fall everywhere. I usually have this little tray where I post my, put all my uh, tiny little uh, screws and parts so I won't lose them. So let's get going. It's pretty easy. I get this done pretty fast now. I'm just loosening, up, loosening up the screws with this one. This screwdriver is too thick, but sometimes the screws are way too tight up in there. I loosen it up with a big one and then boom, I take it off with this one. Put him in the little tray so that I won't lose him. Okay, so we're gonna take this le lever off. This is actually where you uh, adjust the pressure. There's a couple of pieces there. And then I'm gonna open it up. That's how it looks from the inside. There's some water in there. The, the, the grease should never look green like that. And you should never have water here as well. So that's why you gotta make sure that when you clean it, you don't hose it down where you pour water into the, 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 into the reel that hard because it'll start getting all this water inside and it'll ruin all your, your reel, your parts. Bearing. Yes, exactly, especially the bearings. But you start, if you ruin this one, this is actually the, but this one's pretty safe. Usually it's really sealed up. All I do is just clean it up and then put it aside. Uh, I never un undo all this part because it's way easier to just keep it, keep it that simple. This one, you unscrew it the opposite way. But before I unscrew that one, I take off these screws. These are the stops. This is what stops the, the, the reel when you're gonna reel backwards. They're kind of nasty too. They should never be that messed up. This is where they use these little pliers. Whoops. See, there's more green here too. So full of water. It should not have water. Now we're gonna unscrew this one, which is it's where it has the two gears for the the two speeds that we have on on the reel. For this one, usually I put it like that, and then I hit it, and they'll start coming off. There they are. Once I take these both of these off, you can see there's a lot of like water in there. There shouldn't be water. And then I take this little thing off, which is like a safety for the second gear. And then I pull this out. It's nasty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a, we're gonna clean it up really good. Take all the water out, grease it up again, and we gotta replace both of these bearings. There's one, and there's two. Both of those bearings are wearing out. As you can see, there's some rust starting to grow there, and you should never, that's why you should never hose your, 
your reel that deep because it, it'll have a lot of it'll make your your bearing get, get rusted like that one so we're gonna put, replace them with some new ones usually the rust will start eating that as well and then once he eats that it's it ruins your 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 reel and then uh shimano can no longer guarantee when you're neglecting your reel i usually clean everything up just with a rag like this i'll dry it off i'll take all the grease off and every single little part and then i'll put it back together so i grease everything up and then I start putting the back together. That's the new reel. Okay, so we just put our two uh, brand new bearings on. We're gonna put it back together. There's a little guard that goes here. And then we gotta make sure we put on this little thing, which is actually what keeps the, the second gear functioning right. It is. Oh me. Okay, now the first gear that we gotta put on is this one. This is the big one. It has one uh, side that is kind of a, um, a recess. It has a recess. It's going coming out, and this one is a little bit thick, deeper. The deeper part goes down. I mean up. Um, see how it goes. And then after that, we got this plastic thingy that goes there. Spacer. Yeah, the spacer. And then this one, same thing. It has a deep hole. Oh! And then it has this thick spot. And it goes right here. And then another spacer. But this one is actually like a lock. Because it has a little thing where it goes and it locks. And it keeps everything together there. And then we put this spring on. And remember, this one screws on the, to the opposite side. So let's tighten it up a little bit. There it is. I always spin this up to just to see if he makes a sound. If it doesn't, he seems to be pretty smooth. Now this one, this baby goes on the other, on the other side, on the other bearing. So we just put it in like that. And then this one goes on top of it. See, it just fits right in together. And then I put some grease on it. Remember, this grease should be always grease for the reels I like to spin it up a little bit like that so you can all you can go on the whole thing seems to be pretty smooth okay now we got to put in this thing which is the guard the guard always go with the teeth this way to the counterclockwise. And then these things I like to put them on. These are the the stops, remember? I gotta put them like that. And then they go right here. Boom boom. Now we gotta put the safety on. Or the lock making out. My fingers are greasy now. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's nice and it's smooth. Now we're gonna put on this one back. You see how this little square is? Well, there's a little square here and you gotta make sure it goes in. Otherwise it's way too thick 
and when you put the the whole thing back together it'll be uh sticking out of the it won't go in right okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna do this first we're gonna throw this one in here and this little thing goes right there on that so it's gonna be much easier if you we do it like this there it is now we gotta look at the square and this square and square them up See, if you don't square them up, it doesn't really go in right. It should just fit in. See, now it fits really nice and tight. Now all we gotta do is just put on the screws again. And it's only four of them. One, two, Okay, so now we're gonna put on the the um, the lever for for the pressure. Make sure you always put on these little things, cause this is what makes it kind of be smooth. They go on there, and then this little thing is what makes the not tension. It actually makes just a little sound. No, yeah, it's like a clicker that makes you know how much pressure you're putting or measure the pressure. Come on, baby. Esta. I didn't put it right, cause it should be like that, there it is. Now you screw this on. There it is. It doesn't make a sound at all, so it's pretty smooth. And if you go like that and it keeps going without stopping at all because it doesn't have pressure, as soon as I put pressure on it, and boom, it stops. So that's like brand new already. Now we're gonna replace this little thing right here. Okay, so this is a brand new handle from Shimano that we're gonna be putting on. This is a handle for a uh, Shimano Talica 16. Now I also have for the 25s, but for the 25s look a little bit different. They're a little bit, little bit longer and then they have a spacer in between. So you gotta make sure that it's for the 16 so it can, fit nice, it can fit nice in there. And for this one, we gotta take this off. This is what makes the, the, the two speed function. You press that little thing and it goes into the second speed. And if you want to take off the second speed and leave it on the first speed, you just click on this little lever and it just pops it out and, uh, and you're back into your normal speed. So we're going to take it off so that we can change the, um, the handle. We took both of those screws off. Now we're gonna take this little thing off. It has a little spring. Make sure you don't lose it. I have lost it a couple times. And it's really tiny. So if you drop, if you drop it on the floor, it's harder to find it. To take this off, the easiest way without stripping anything at all, when you buy the reel, it comes with this, uh, with this wrench, I guess. And, uh, and it fits perfect on this area. So this is the one I recommend you to use so that you won't strip anything and it'll, it works perfectly for these. You take this off and as soon as you do, boom, this thing comes off. You should always leave this here. And we're gonna clean it cause it's full of nasty stuff too. Okay, there it is. Now we're gonna replace it with a new one. It is this thing goes on again remember use this one 
when you're tightening up this screw right here, you gotta make sure you tighten it up enough, but not too, too tight. Cause usually when you tie it up, tie it up too much, it leaves it uh, off where the screws should be or should go. Look like that one, I actually tighten it up perfectly. Cause the little screws uh, line up, the screw holes line up to where they should be. Put on the little spring. Put on this thing. You always gotta tighten these things up, but not like way too hard because you start stripping the screws and you don't need to have that, that hard, like uh, tighten it up that hard. So there it is from the reel that it was. It looks brand new now. I always use this one with a little bit of grease on it to clean it up just to leave it a little bit greasy so that the, the water will just come off right, right away and the salt as well when they start using it and remember when you start using it and I mean rinsing it rinse it off from, always put all the pressure up rinse it from far not really really close to it just rinse it from far dry it up and then always leave it with these two uh, screws facing down so that the water if any water went in it'll come right out and it'll dry up and, and it'll last longer for the next service so it, and that's what you have to do to make sure that your reels are maintained every single six to eight months if you use them as much as we do that's what you have to do actually to maintain these things it's just like a car you got to change oil blah 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 well same thing it's it's a mechanism that helps uh uh transmission and you got to give it service as long as you give it service they'll last forever and you always you won't lose a a, a nice fish when you catch it with a messed up reel I hope you guys really like this video, this tutorial. If you guys do, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell button and uh, comment below if you guys want us to do a, another video, another tutorial on something regarding fishing, saltwater sport fishing, okay? Peace.